Howdy, YouTube boys and girls. Uh, it's your boy Oz with ASM Auto. So today I've got a very special video for you guys. I'm actually going to go over some ratchets that you, most of which you have never seen. A couple of them I made have featured in tool halls a few years ago. But uh, these are some ratchets from my personal collection and maybe a couple of screwdrivers mixed in. They're not all the ratchets from my personal collection. I could probably do another whole video of more ratchets that I have at home. But uh, today we're gonna talk about some special ones that, uh, that I basically keep uh, for collection purposes. Will I use them someday? Who knows? But uh, for now, they're, uh, they're part of my personal collection. So let's take a look. Hey, just as an aside, uh, I had a little side project today. I wanted to make a pair of jumpers out of this, out of these leftover parts from a failed piece of equipment. So I've got these two leads and what's kind of cool is they can detach um, from the main cable and you can actually put a, uh, you know, cigarette lighter power plug on it. And then on the other end, I just uh, soldered, soldered in some uh, stackable leads. And of course I overdid the connection like I like to do everything. So, <laughs> so first uh, I used, I crimped on butt connectors. Next I you know, obviously soldered it together to make a solid joint. And then I put the, uh, then I put the, um, uh, the, what the heck do you call that? <laughs> heat shrink. That's it. I put the, uh, you know, I put the, um, the insulated heat shrink on it. And then finally, over all that, I put some, uh, high grade electrical tape. So basically overkill, but, uh, you know, for something as handy as a, as a set of jumpers, which I didn't have a pure set of jumpers, uh, I think it's worth it. Anyway, just that was kind of like a little fun side project. So, let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the main focus of the video. Alrighty, first up is the uh, Nepros, and this is a this is the three eighths. And uh, I decided to kind of leave some of these in their boxes because it's it's just so cool how they actually come. So I know you've seen these on some other videos, but anywho, now you're gonna see them on mine. So that's how it comes. This one would be the uh, locking flex head. Uh, I guess you'd call it long. It's not technically extra long, but man, it's real. Uh, it, these things are amazing. These Nepros ratchets or Nepros or ne I think it's Nepros, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So it's got a nice grip. It is a little slick obviously, but the Chrome is just fantastic. This one sounds like I should probably add a little grease. But anyway, it's kind of interesting because it has this, um, this insert down here instead of like a, like a ball or a little, you know, like a little uh, notch that allows you to set the flex at a different setting. So it's actually smooth, but it, but it rubs against that, which keeps it from flexing. And of course, it has a, a flush quick release right there. And amazingly, this one seems to be jammed up. <laughs> the uh, reversing switch doesn't want to work. Ugh. Wow, this is video is off to a great start. Yeah, so uh, there's the Nepros. And the funny thing is I actually bought this back in January and uh, apparently it's defective. Like, I haven't used it. I could have sworn this reversing switch worked when I got it. Now it's not working. And it looks like these are, uh, these are Phillips 1, but they're actually JIS screws. So I'm not sure I really want to mess with this. Uh, I think this one's going to have to go back for warranty. Great. <laughs> what an awesome start to this video, guys. So there you have it. A fancy Nepros ratchet defective right out of the box. Fantastic. All right. Moving on to the next one. Now this one I know isn't defective. Uh, what this is, is it's an original USA 3.8 uh, Craftsman th Thin Profile Ratchet. As you can see, it's got the, you know, it's got the, um, the barcode still on it from the Sears store. Uh, I believe this is like around 2002, 2003. I think it says it on, on here somewhere. But I've always really liked these ratchets and I came across this new old stock and I went ahead and picked it up. 
uh, and I've never used it. I keep it in the, you know, I keep it as I received it. So maybe I'll use it someday, but uh, yeah, big fan of those, uh, of Craftsman in general, Craftsman USA. So had to add that to my collection. Here's another Nepros. Let's see if this one works. <laughs> Man, it's just crazy. Um, so look at this exotic beast right here. Uh, that's, I think that's the part number. Oh yeah, the next is what they call it. It's like 90X. Next is the name of the actual ratchet. It comes in this coke or this cork board uh, holder. And this thing is like the the key to this is like it's just ridiculously light. So that's the whole story behind this. Now that's pretty smooth. As you can see, the reversing switch actually works. Uh, I think that other ratchet is just effective. But isn't that crazy, guys? Like fancy Nepros ratchet quality control, not so much. So anyway, this is the next, it's got a different type of finish, which is really exotic. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, that's kind of cool. I think I want that. <laughs> so heck of a ratchet. I mean, it's, it's a good one too. I, I may actually use that at some point, but it's a standard length ratchet. I got plenty of those. This, I just kind of, I had to pick up with the other two cause you know, wood handled fancy screwdriver. Guess I should have got a one, then I could service that one. All right, uh, this one I did feature in a video a while ago. Um, I just thought the, the the concept of it was so cool. It's a uh, it's an open head uh, ratchet in the old, you know, this is an old uh, military design. And Wright Tool actually brought this back for the military in uh, Iraq, I believe, uh, because of the sand. So when we were in Iraq, um, the uh, the sand was basically causing ratchets to bind up. So the military asked Wright if they could start making these again, and they complied. And on top of that, you know, they're, they're also willing to, they're also selling them to the general public. So super cool ratchet gear on the outside. Doesn't bind up. You reverse with this little guy. Obviously it's like tough as nails. Great ratchet. I mean, you could use this if you wanted to, uh, I forget what the tooth count is. It's obviously it's not super high, but it's, it's not bad. We I mean, just awesome bulletproof, right? USA military ratchet. Now, of course, that one, like I said, is sold to consumers. It does have a uh, Wright's typical warrant warranty. I don't know what their stance is on military stuff, but uh, then this, this is really special. Uh, this is probably, in my opinion, my favorite ratchet. I mean, in that sense, I probably should use it, but I've got others. I've got Snap-on Roto heads. I've got some Japanese, <laughs> you know, so I don't have to, but this is a new old stock SK3870. So for those that don't know, SK invented the Roto head. Now I put the uh, the dual Paul Mac, uh, the dual Paul in there, um, you know the kit, the ratchet kit. So it's super smooth. It has 80 positions instead of 40. Uh, it just seemed like it was appropriate for, you know, for making this like the perfect roto head. And honestly, I think this is the best roto head I've ever used. So SK invented the roto head, and they should still be make. They should have still been making it. Of course, they should also. Have, still be USA owned. You know, I've seen what they've been doing, switching out some of the USA products for inferior ones. It's kind of a shame. Uh, but anyway, this thing's awesome. I still have obviously the original, you know, 40 tooth mechanism for it, but I really think with the 80 tooth, it's kind of like, it just makes it really neat. And again, this is never used, brand new, old stock, and may never be used because you can't get them anymore. Ah, uh, this one I thought was just kind of cool. It's a, uh, this is like, uh, I actually found this on at Lowe's, uh, like long after the fact they were clearancing these out for like $15 a piece. So it's basically the, old, you know, the final, uh, USA cobalt set. And so I'm key including that because of, uh, you know, obviously the ratchet. Now, interestingly, the original ratchet that came with the set was actually, uh, was also defective. Uh, and I had to warranty it, but they only had Taiwan ratchets. So I, I picked this one up from Cripe Distributing for like $5 off of eBay to basically recomplete the, uh, the USA set. Ah, I just thought that was cool. Um, I really, I, I kind of dig, like I said, the old USA Craftsman Cobalt, etc. So this one's pretty unique. Um, this, this is a, I don't know if you can pick that. It's kind of hard to read on the, yeah, you can see that now, I think. It says New Holland. So this is actually New Holland Farm Tractor Ratchet. Uh, my grandfather, there's the part number. 
right there, SN10201. Uh, so this, my grandfather worked for New Holland Farm Tractors. So I had to get at least one ratchet with their brand on it. Like they're a lot harder to find than say like uh, John Deere, but they, but a, a lot of the stuff that they had for sale was like rebranded like Blue Point. Um, not sure if they, they may have had some snap on too, but, uh, but you know, they've done business with snap on in the past uh, to make their tools kind of similar to Cater Caterpillar. So anyway, it's a New Holland ratchet. And this one, you know, it's not super rare or anything, but uh, it is Matco's 40th anniversary ratchet. So, you know, I, I like Matco. I'm kind of a fan. So I wanted to pick one of these up um, and I just kept it in my personal collection. You know, I have, I have one that's almost identical, you know, without the 40 on it and the blue handle. They didn't have the blue handles when these were out. So that's the kind of the original 40th anniversary ratchet from Matco. And then this guy here, this is a uh, Craftsman Roundhead Fine Tooth. So I, in my opinion, like this thing is so, for a, for a half inch ratchet, this thing's, the mechanism is amazing. And it does have this thumb wheel. I mean, which is kind of overkill for half inch, but still sweet. Um, it's just, it's just a great ratchet. Um, it has a quick release, but it's interesting. It doesn't have like the little thing that sticks out it, but it, you know, works like any other qu quick, quick release and super high tooth count. I think these were 90 teeth, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is one of the best half inch ratchets I've ever used. And even to this day, I mean, what a, what a, this is one of the best ratchets that Craftsman ever made in my opinion. It's just... And they're so strong too. It's a, uh, yeah, it is just a freaking, it's an awesome ratchet. <laughs> no doubt about it. I should probably use that one. I mean, it, that one I got used obviously, but still in really good shape. And I figured I'd just throw these in here uh, cause they were in the same box where I keep some of those other ratchets. And these are, uh, these are the, the Mac hard handle screwdrivers. I don't, I think they still make these. I'm not sure, but this was like a really old set that was on my driver's truck for, I don't know, probably like, forever who knows maybe a decade or more and so finally i just decided to pick it up and add it to my collection even though the last thing i need is more screwdrivers uh, so that does it for the uh for the ones i brought from home maybe now we'll talk about some of the, some more of the ratchets that i use you know that I actually have here at work and that i use all right i know i just did a video on this ratchet drawer and i talked about some of my favorite ratchets in here but let's uh maybe let's take a closer look so this is kind of like, you've seen this on multiple videos. This guy right here is, a, is the extra, extra long quarter inch. And I had them put the 3 8 head on it. And obviously this is, the, uh, this is the old style. It's not the style that's designed to break at the anvil. But, you know, whatever. I'm not going to put ridiculous amounts of torque on it. So everybody knows what snap-on sounds like. Smooth as butter, the dual 80 mechanism. More roto heads, as I mentioned, there's the KTC roto head that was featured in a Mr. Subaru video, which is where I discovered it. Super, uh, super compact. Really cool. Uh, this is the new controversial 100 tooth snap-on snap ratchet that I don't think is going to be controversial for too much longer. It's, it's really got some nice features that I think eventually are going to win people over. So the comfort grip, in my opinion, is the best comfort grip they've ever made. The, uh, I think the logo looks super cool. Um, you know, it is thin profile. It's 100 tooth, which is, you know, which is fine. Uh, I don't get as excited about the, the tooth count, but I'm trying to do this with one hand while I hold the camera. See, as you can hear, it's like, it's very, it's, it's a lot smoother than that, the first batch that came out that had all the issues. I mean, I don't, I don't feel any of those hangups or, that I felt with the original, you know, with the first batch. And the head is not floppy at all. You know, like I said, they fixed the issues. So I think eventually peop if this is going to win people over. Now, it is, is it as smooth as a dual 80? I don't know. You hear that? I mean, it's very smooth. Like, I don't, I don't, none of those issues that I felt with the first batch. 
so let's grab a uh yeah there's the the blue handle dual 80 which we talked about you know recently which i featured in kind of a quasi tool haul yeah here's another uh here's another three it's du here's a dual 80 so yeah that i will say this um the dual 80 does feel a little bit smoother but i i, I just think it's because of the difference in tooth count like the 100 the 100 tooth is not far off from the dual 80. So I guess it's kind of like pick your poison. Yeah, I mean it feels pretty close. Real close actually. It's just it just has more positions to click through. But regardless, I I really dig this uh I really dig this this new ratchet which is a surprise because it, like I said before at first, I couldn't, I didn't like them at all. I passed on them. Uh, this is one of my favorite ratchets. This thing, this half inch has that, I mean, it's just, it's a tank. Obviously it's extendable. It can go, you know, it's 90 tooth. It's the hyper series or whatever they call it. It's just built like a tank. Really awesome ratchet. I love that thing. Let's see. I mean, everybody knows like the that's the super long Mako 30 inch. There's the snap on equivalent. Uh, let's see. What do we want to talk about? I don't know. It's kind of like everything. Everything's been talked about. I think. Uh, I think moving forward. Yeah, I think. I I, I don't know. I think a, a lot has already been talked about. Uh, in this ratchet drawer. Here's, uh, I guess we could take a closer look at this guy. This is an old school proto uh, indexing head. It's not like the, uh, the one you get at Harbor Freight. It's like, it's smooth, but when it locks, it locks. You know, and obviously this one's made in the United States. Oops, let's get that totally, there we go. And you can even do this. Uh, I guess you can't lock it. You can't lock it in that position, but <laughs> that's about the only position I think you can't lock it in. Let's see. Where can we go until we can lock this guy? There's one. There's a position. Oh, yeah, you can lock it. Let me see if you actually can lock it while it's all the way, all the way underneath like that. You can't reverse it, but oh, yeah, yeah, you can lock it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> look at that. Uh, look at the anvil on this guy. That just looks like, that just screams like bulletproof. Like that looks like old school USA steel, steel right there. Even if it's just the finish, it just looks, that just looks, that thing looks like it can take a beating. At any rate, I, I love that little guy. I love the handle. I definitely won't be uh I won't be replacing that. And of course I've got the snap-on version of the 3.8s. I've never had an older version of that. Actually, that's not true. I do have the Harbor Freight at home, which is uh, the Pittsburgh, which is actually pretty decent. Um, you saw my old snap-on. I think that's 82, 1982. I mean, a lot of the stuff you guys have seen. Here's the super long Matco. It's like 15 inches long. It's just crazy for a quarter inch ratchet, but it comes in handy sometimes. Um, yeah, I think that's, there's not much more to talk about here. You guys have seen a lot of these ratchets already. All right, guys, basically a bit of a shorter video today. Um, if you have questions about any of these tools and, or you want to know where I got them and, uh, or you want advice on sourcing them, uh, just let me know in the comments, just post a comment and I'll definitely reply to it. But uh, anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Ooh.